Islands is in this really unique position where small farmers, local farmers, people within the community still own the landscape. It's an incredible opportunity. Hi, I'm Matt Smith from Home Tree. We're in West Clare right now, not too far from La Hinch, just outside in the Steinman. I'm originally from Cornwall, so finding myself here feels like kind of home from home. Really similar people, real similar landscape, and yeah, similar challenges in a way. I'm the CEO of Home Tree. We've got about 20 people here. We're working kind of day in, day out, looking at some of the major challenges that Ireland's facing, which is around biodiversity loss, climate change, carbon sequestration, and critically our connection to nature. It's fragile, and yeah, Home Tree's kind of born out of that need. So, you know, we restore habitats and connect people to nature, and we've been doing so quite successfully for the last 10 years. We own 10 sites around the country that we bought through donations, and we're restoring those ecosystems ecosystems from upland sheep farms to grassy fields to existing woodlands and we're putting them back into a kind of natural space so making sure that the right trees planted there the right spacing and they've got it's got the right genealogy we go to our sites and we see nature returning to those spaces the thrust of our work is about restoring resilient habitats and connecting people to nature We're in a pretty tragic place ecologically. Ireland, a hundred years ago, had about less than 1% total woodland cover. The ecosystems that they're kind of holding on to by hair's breadth are really precious. The flora and fauna that are there, but also the kind of network of the wood wide web, the mycelium and the bacteria, the fungi, like now about 11% of Ireland is covered in the Seeker spruce plantations. It's really critical we protect what is remaining and expand and support the regeneration of that similar ecosystem. There's less than 1% of those original woodlands remain and only two percent of island is covered in, in native woodlands how could we blend native woodlands with an ecosystem of the tree farms the timber that we need and and how can we like meet some of our targets with europe these are the type of woodlands that home tree is interested in there's these temperate oceanic rainforests that exist in very, very few places on Earth. And what's so fascinating, what's so interesting from an ecological point of view is that there's so much humidity that on the trunks, on the branches of the trees, there is constant moisture. And in that moisture, you can have plants, mosses, ferns, you know, plants growing upon plants, growing upon plants. It's a completely different habitat, which is really, really worth protecting. Islands is in this really unique position where small farmers, local farmers, people within the community still own the landscape. 80% of Ireland, 134,000 farmers own farms of an average farm size of 32 hectares. It's an incredible opportunity. With that, like there's a bunch of upsides to it. You know, we get to keep farmers in the landscape, native landowners in the landscape. They send their kids to the local school. They work in the local industry. Like we have thriving rural communities. This site is a, it's our headquarters, it's our office, it's a demonstration site, it's a community site. This is a demonstration of one hectare of native woodland scheme forestry. So if you have a hectare that looks like this, that's the right soil type, you can plant a hectare of it, you'll get paid 15 years from the state. It is important that there is another actor in the space. We've been filling that void. Our seeds are collected from the wildest of places because we're not looking at it from a profit point of view. Jeremy, our seed collector, you know, he'll be up collecting mountain species that commercial seed collectors just wouldn't be viable for them to go and do. All of our trees are grown on organic nursery. There's 15,000 trees in this polytunnel. You know, you're never going to breathe fresher air. It's pretty special. But very few people on any scale are growing the minor species. It's not commercially viable for a big nursery to plant a lot of spindle or a lot of white beam or a lot of witch elm. Witch elm, for instance, it drops all of its seeds on one day. If you don't collect those seeds and sow them in a fertile bed on the same day, they won't propagate. So you can imagine a commercial nursery doesn't do that because they're not going every day to see if that witch elm seeds have dropped that one day.
We've got some pretty big ambitions in the next decade. Our targets are 60,000 acres in 10 years of land supported through us. So some of our own land is hubs just like this along the western seaboard and supporting current landowners, adding tree systems, accessing finance to add nature to their farms, to look after biodiversity. We've experienced a lot of growth and rightly so because it's a, a space that needs a lot of attention.